Oops, is this? <laughs> there we go. Good morning, everyone. This is Rob, and I'm always in hotwater.com and boats in hotwater.com. Today is March the 26th, 2021. I hope you guys are having a good year. And what I'm going to do is just kind of give you guys a quick walkthrough on this vessel, just a visual. Let me just make sure I'm on the right pan mode. This we go. On a 2005 Century 2600 center console and I'll kind of back out twin Yamaha 225s 2005 I have details up on the site as to the particulars we're on a 2008 magic tilt trailer and uh, just a quick note we do not have an MSO or a title for this particular trailer in South Carolina as it's not required uh, but we do have the VIN and all things needed for a bill of sale Overall, the trail is in decent shape. Uh, does a good job with the boat. Tires are fresh. Pretty well serviced. Somebody backed into this jack stand. That will be replaced. Overall, exterior of the boat, as you guys can see it. We just kind of got some of the pollen rinsed off. Um, you know, you got a little bit of staining. Bottom paint's in nice shape. So there's no, you know, real issue there. I think up in this particular spot I just caught. As I see, we got right here. Got a little goober right there. As you can see, just got a couple little chippies. I put some marine techs in there. There and there. The boat has uh, 665 to, I think, 670 on it, right around there. You guys can kind of just see right there. I would definitely address that. Has the same. Okay. i show you these things. I don't want anybody any surprises. Other than that, I don't really have any complaints. Bottom paint, like I said, is in pretty decent shape. Boats. Kept on land. And if you guys just take a quick look. Panning in and out. Just trying to keep the video simple. This boat is being sold about 10 grand below book value. So um, now you got the Yamaha 4 Stroke 2005. This was bought from the dealership at... Uh, brokered the boat from the original owner at 550 hours. Two brand new power heads installed at that time. I don't recall what the issue was, but uh, there were two new power heads installed, and that was done by Butler Marine. You guys just take a quick look here. You got a little cowling goober. But overall, working Linko trim tabs. Pops are in nice shape. Seller is moving up to a bigger boat, and let's just get one more view out here. You know, she's not in perfect condition, but um, she will get the job done offshore. And the seller wants the boat gone, which is why it's priced where it's at. Moving up to a bigger offshore vessel. You guys can see, been maintaining and service. But, you know, fresh batteries, or, you know, I have a bunch of details up on the site. As you guys can see, let me just get my shoes off because he's obviously been cleaning the boat up. Your uh, fish boxes do not have working, um, you know, macerator pumps. So we already know that. Um, your uh, raw water pump is working. Your live well pump is working. Let's just kind of pop that up, leave that up. Show you the condition. You know, obviously some fading on these cushions. As you can see there. Now these bolsters up on the side. And what I'm going to do is just kind of walk through without tripping. See? Those are new. Uh, I think September of last year. Working windless. Looks like somebody's getting 
ready to take the boat out. You can see the condition of the cushions here, some fading. Obviously, this one um, is on the way out. Here are the bigger cushions, which are actually in pretty decent shape for the forward area. Let's get you guys. The T top's okay, it's not great. But it's decent. I got one little spot right there, as you can see. But overall, um, you know, at some point somebody's going to redo that. But it's not an immediate need. Helm seating. And uh, your radar is not working. I mean, it is dated. This is a Garmin 310, 3210. Um, sometimes she fires up, sometimes she doesn't. I haven't been able to get the radar to power up, but this is a new Garmin GPS map XS, which has actually was installed by Black Dog Marine last year. So you're good there. If you guys just kind of take a look, your VHF is definitely working. And what I'm going to do is, let me just see if I can see head area oh there's a fresh battery pack set up all right where is let me just i think on this side from what i remember yes <laughs> here we go port let's go house and starboard you gotta see right there Let's get that all cleaned up. Let's just take a quick look in here while you guys are here. All right. There you go. So the, your fish boxes, obviously, if you want uh, that happening, you'll need new pumps. Lot, you know, like I said, live well. Storage, same on the port side. And let's just take a quick look right here. We are running 678 hours on port, and we are running 682 on starboard. And as you guys can see, uh, if we did power heads at 550 hours, then you're looking at basically, you know, 130 hours on uh, the new power heads on the boat. And that will probably about do it. This is nice shape. I don't see any pitting on it anywhere. So overall, that's it. Good little fishing boat. Uh, offshore, we run in, let's say, 600 and we'll call it 680 hours. And I think this will be a good catch for somebody. Put a couple of bucks into it. Let's turn these batteries off. I think the boat is up at 39500 firm. More than a reasonable enough price. Deposit to hold the boat. Get you to sea trial. We're more than happy to run it and have a good time. The ramp is literally less than five minutes from here. So that will about do it. Out here at imalwaysinhotwater.com. 2005 Century 2600 Center Console. 2005 Yamaha Twin 225s, 680 hours on the boat overall. You got about 130 hours on the power heads and a 2008 Magic Tilt trailer. I don't think this one will last long, so let's get it done. Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com wishing you guys a great and safe boating day. Rob signing off.